All right, let's get into these patch notes everybody's been talking about. Experimental patch notes. Okay. Patch notes. <clears throat> Retro, by the way, have you ever wanted to, I don't know, it's up to you. We could talk about thoughts and stuff on these, but what? Anyways. Echo. Oh. First one up on the chopping block is Echo. Echo's kit is designed around mobility and burst damage, but she was performing too well against high health targets, such as tanks, reducing the maximum firing dur duration of her primary weapon, and focusing beam will lower her sustained damage output without impacting her burst damage potential against squishier targets. Try shot, and reduced from 15 to 12. Focusing beam dur duration reduced from 2.5 to 2. Uh, that's not enough. That's not enough. This is okay. That'll that that lowers her overall damage and how much she can do, but that's not enough. Uh, that needs to be like 1.3, to be honest. Um, because what, what as a echo beam does what 230 damage per second. Is that what it is? Like 250 250 as per second so if, if the if the damage is what and i ban you myself congrats dude the fuck out of my chat um it is 250 per second no just 200 per second 200 per second so just 200 per second well, mm, if 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 the, if the goal was to to performing too well against high health targets, one point five would kill any tank if you hit everything on it. One point five would kill every tank, right? Because that would be three hundred damage, right? So like, any tank. Now I don't know how it works with Hammond though. Hammond's a little different, but. Uh, Ryan, if he's below uh, 275, uh, Hog, if he's below 300, Diva, if she's below 300, 1.5 would do the 300 damage, you know? So, I honestly, I don't think that's going to be that big of a difference. That lowers her overall damage, but I don't think that's going to make much of a difference. Um, all it does is make it so you have less give if, like, she misses for a second or two on the beam. And you could just like, kind of like swipe it back. It makes it a little less forgiving. That's it. All right. Tracer. The new fall-off damage range causes the damage to scale down faster when targets are outside Tracer's optimal distance, making her threatening in mid-range. Min max damage fall-off rescaled from 13 to 23 meters down to 12 to 20. Is this what she was originally? Is this what she was originally? Or at least close. So basically, tra Tracer's back to where she started. I think that's pretty decent. That's pretty decent. Zenyatta. Oh, this is the big one. Zenyatta has been a bit too effective at enabling team-wide damage output lately. So we're taking some power out of the Oro Discord by reducing both its damage amplification as well as, as well as at the speed at which it can be applied over long distances. The new projectile speed can now matches it of his wait 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 the new projectile speed now matches that of his primary fire orb of destruction wait what orb of harmony projectile speed reduced from 190 120 to 90 so is that how fast it travels to you or discord projectile damage speed reduced from 120 to 90 wait this is this is actually a killer nerf. Wait a minute. This is actually like a death nerf. That's a death nerf. And, and I say that because part of what made Discord so good was this. Okay, this is the big one. This is massive. Okay, this is massive. This is huge. 
But... This actually makes it even worse. Because if you were f flipping Discord between targets, if they were behind shield, or like, let's say, like, you were shooting, I don't know, let's say you were shooting the enemy um, D.Va, right? Let's say it was a Rhine D.Va type of comp. And you could have the Discord on the Rhine, but he has full shield, so it's not worth it. And the D.Va's on the flank or off the side. You flipped it to the D.Va, did damage to him, then flipped it back, flipped it back, flipped it back, and it would just be fucking everyone. The amount of time, depending on how far away they are, that's actually kind of a big nerf in, like, like quick instances of, of burst. You know, it gives a little bit more of a forgivingness to it, but it's just going to feel it's just going to feel bad as a Zen player. Like, I don't know how much it's going to actually end up affecting the game, but this is just going to hurt Zen as a player. Like, it's just going to it's just not going to feel good. I think, you know, what? let's go test it. Let's go test it, chat, shall we? Uh, I don't remember I'll practice range. Okay. Practice range. On. What? 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 There's a preset. Yeah, good call chat. Um, and I think there was one other thing you had to change. Use experimental update if available. Hold on, I have a theory. Hold on, let's, let's be something other than a super heavy tank. I mean, something that's more heavy like a tank. Um, let's put a cog. So, I'm pretty sure the way Discord used to work is depending on how range was, you could get two, you could get two or fucking asshole, you could get two orbs with Discord on the hog. Now you can only get one on a right click. You only get one. The shadow of doubt. It doesn't it doesn't mean shit if Zen's up close though. Like that that change is is nothing up close. It really is. But what it does is it stops what's honestly kind of the more annoying part of Zen. Which is like the people who play Zen like this. Which is kinda of how you're supposed to play Zen. Your weakness is revealed. You know, it actually, like, if you're going to play, uh, like, flopping targets constantly and trying to do damage, like, to, like, multiple targets in a fight, it ain't going to work no more. Or it ain't going to work as well. It's just going to feel, it just, it just feels bad. 
But the 25 damage is massive. It's massive. Like, let's, you know, let's go, let's go over this hog real quick. Let's go over this hog. Let's go over this hog. Discord him. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten shots to kill him. Um, let's remember that. What were the other changes? Oh, the echo beam ain't that big. What was the other one? Um, echo. That tracer one's not that big. Okay. Let's go regular practice right now. True self is without form. Down. I'm on fire. Okay, now Come it's hype. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Ten? Wait. Did I do that wrong? There is disquiet. One, two, three. I think I had shot on that one. Do not be discouraged. Everyone begins in one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, what? So, what is the thirty percent break point then? I thought for sure. Hmm. It definitely is a huge nerf because it's back to where it was in goats. But what's the difference? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's like one HP. Ten. One cannot survive. True self is without form. One, two. All right, that first shot was a headshot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Still ten, but it's, he has more HP than the last ten shot. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. See, the last one I finished with a kick. Couldn't finish him with a kick on this one. So it it feels small in, in testing, but it's gonna be it's gonna be big in, in actual play. Just because the whole point of Discord isn't like my one damage; it's everyone's damage at once. So I think it'll be pretty decent. I think it'll be pretty good. The only thing I'm scared of, the only thing I'm scared of with that, is. The reason Zen is played right now, in my opinion, isn't just because of his Discord. His Discord's really good. And honestly, I think it'll still be okay. I think it'll actually still be okay. Uh, it's just not going to be busted like it was before. But the thing that makes Zen so good is the people who play Zen like this. In anger, you defeat only yourself. Like, this is a support hero without even Discord. That's a support hero. Like, he the the whole thing, the whole reason you ran Brig Zen, the whole reason you ran Brig Zen was, this is what your comp is. It was Ball Sig, which now it's more Balls Aria. Ball Sig. Echo Tracer. Depending on, like, the map, then sometimes you switch, like, Widow or something, you switch other stuff. Brig Zen. Right, and 
the reason you want to break Zen is because Zen is a third DPS. And Brig just was unkillable, could keep him alive with packs and with CC. So it would make sure that they never die. And they could just play together and frolic around the map like two little happy bunnies, right? I don't. Like, this Discord, this Discord nerf is going to feel great as a tank player. Like, you're not going to explode on cooldown anymore. Like, I think one of the, the, the way you'll notice it is if, like, you play ball. So, if you play ball and you go for the slam and you get discorded, you are typically dead nine times out of ten. I think now it's going to be a much higher survival, survival rate. But, I don't know. I don't know. I, I Now, I'm, like, I'm kind of feeling it. I don't know. I'm not sold yet. Because Brig just keeps Zen alive. Because Zen is just left click and right click is still so strong. I don't know. I'm not sold yet. We'll see. But it is a, it is a nice nerf, and I like it. I'm, I think it's absolutely the right direction. It's absolutely the right direction. I think it's going to be really, really fucking helpful. But I'm not totally sold yet. I'm not totally sold, actually. But that's crazy to think, though, that this is where he was in Goats. This is where he was in goats, and he was still played in goats. But we we buffed him we buffed him to what he was in old dive. But that was before Brig existed, and Brig just keeps the Zen. Zen used to be so free. You remember? You guys remember old dive? What did you do in old dive? Everyone knew, right? Everyone knew how to play the basic of old dive. Winston Diva played together. Winston Diva jumped the Zen. Jumped the Zen. The team dies, or whatever it was, right? Like. If you were playing defense, if you were playing defense, you counter dived on your Zen to try to keep him alive. So they wouldn't make him go boom boom. The Mercy would attach her beam to the Zen. The Winston would start tasing the Zen. The heals and the damage would out would, would stop each other, and then it would up be up to the Diva to do the damage or the, uh, the defensive diva to block it. And then of course there was the, the middle ground, which was the, the Genji and the Tracer, which just depends on how much damage they got done. But it was a very small break point, right? It was a very small break point between, you know, you had the Genji dash. Right, the Genji dash would be free damage that Diva couldn't defense Matrix. But if they did it right, it, the only thing that Zen would be getting hit by is, is a Taze and a dash. Right, and he would technically survive that. And that was like that was how you played Dive. But now you don't need a counter dive no more. You just stick a break next to him, and it's like having four tanks around the Zen. You know. If you're not my most watched streamer. For for the end of this year, I'm a pre-sub for the entire year of 2022. Damn, that's a that's a that's a big commitment right there. I don't think I'm gonna remember that. I'll try though. Um so yeah, I think that's where we're at. Well. And 5% is much on 500 health. No, it definitely is. It definitely is because the thing that makes Zen so good. Is that Discord isn't just his damage, it's everyone's damage. So it's giving you an extra second to breathe. You get what I mean? You think the Zen nerf will actually go live? Why wouldn't it go live? I think the harmony nerf is a little weird. Like the the travel speed, like this. Like this is this is kinda awkward, but it's not. It's not that bad, to be honest. It's actually, it's a little better than I thought it was going to be on paper. It just, it just, it's, it's just like less helpful to long range targets. It just takes a second. And then it's not like it stops him or anything. Like, like I can, I can discord as I start shooting again. Watch. Like, it, it doesn't take any time at all, you know? It just takes a second or two longer to get there. The 5 percent's the big one. To be honest, I when I looked at the one on paper, I thought this this the Harmony nerf and the and the the Discord nerf is going to be way worse than it was, but it's not. It's not that bad. But you're only taking 25 less damage across your whole health bar? What? No, it's it's five percent. It's a it's a percentage scale. I mean, think of but that percentage matters. If you if you made Mercy's left or right click twenty eight percent when Ash was still buffed, or twenty nine percent when Ash was still buffed, 
you then couldn't one shot with Ash anymore. Like those little things actually matter a ton in Overwatch. It's 25 health, but it's not 25 health because you're not also taking into account. You're not. Wanna game? Um. You're not taking into account like what healing is, what shielding, stuff like that. So like that 25 health is realistically much larger over time. You know? We all represent unfulfilled potential. Time by Discord means once again easily out damage someone. Wait. Easily out damage someone pocketed as by mercy? Oh, yeah. 100%. A closed mind is already I wonder how much different that feels on live. It was five headshots with Discord on our experimental. How many is it on live? True self is without form. Bask in the shadow of doubt. You know, definitely didn't ignore you. What do you mean? He just answered me. I was just talking to him. Still five. Doesn't matter. I think Winston can use a little help. Winston's already overtuned. You tune Winston any harder. You already, t if you tune him any harder, you will break him. You will make him the most busted piece of shit of all time. And that's uh, coming from someone that I want to play. I would want to play. You expect his damage is 5% weaker? Yes. So whether it's a Mercy Pistol shooting at you, it's a Zen left click shooting at you, it's Tracer's, like, shots from range on you, whatever it might be, it's all fall off. You know what I mean? Like, that 5% is pretty big. I mean, but we had 5% Zen when we were in GOATS. So to be honest with you, on paper, that kind of looks like a death blow to Zen. And in some ways, it kind of is. But Zen exists because break, in my opinion. Like a game like Overwatch, you don't affect numbers that much. Like if you affect numbers too much, then the game breaks. Like thinking about how Ash was, right? Like Ash, Ash got like like eight micro buffs to make her good, and then she was fucking busted she was busted dude and it took like five nerfs to bring her back down to earth you know I'm doing skill throws with armor packs on Torb. Oh yeah, that, uh, ma yeah. Imagine that. Imagine you had Sim Sim Shield right now, where you get an extra 75 in Torb armor, where you get an extra 75, and then a fucking rally pops out. Yeah, that sounds like a great fucking time. 400 HP Zen. Yeah, 400 HP Zen. You're like 450 HP Zen. For Zen, Zen would literally be a stronger Zarya. Let's be honest, chat. Let's be honest with ourselves for like two seconds, okay? I hate to say it. But 
I don't think Overwatch can be balanced in 2 2 2 as long as Brig exists. It's not possible. It just isn't possible. She brings a, a dynamic to the game that that breaks it. She brings a dynamic to the game that breaks it. I'm on fire! Ryan O! O W. It's the prime dude. Appreciate it. I need to wanna flash up my name much off. Echo should be nerfed. Well, she just got nerfed, but yeah, I think it's I think she's gonna need more I think that beam is still too strong Or she's gonna be balanced for her. Yeah What well, breaks it She has one of the best abilities. I mean ultimates in the game to give everyone armor Armor is ten times stronger than fucking health because armor has break points Um, she has a CC, a stun. I, sorry, she has a stun. She has a CC and whip shot. So she has a CC and a stun that both do pretty good damage. A personal shield, personal shield, an AOE heal that's up for six seconds as long as she hits something. And she has a ranged CC to hit something. And also has on an E cooldown individual healing. One character can do all of that. Do you know what a character like Ryan can do? He can either shield or swing at the one time. He has a passive of 30% knockback so he doesn't go flying off the map when he gets CC'd. But that's always active, just like Briggs healing, which affects everyone. It only affects him. He can either swing or he can shield. That's it. If he's not doing one of those, you can fire strike, which shields down. Or you can charge, which shield is definitely down. She can do all of it at once. She can shield, heal, shield and heal, and stun. Shield, heal, stun. All at the same time. She can swing, CC whip shot, heal, and armor pack all at the same time. So no matter what, she can do at least three things at once. Think about that one. Who else in the game can do that? Sigma. Sigma can shield, left click slash rock. Well, he can left click, rock, and shield at the same time. And use his suck... Well, it's up or down. So who? Oh, wait. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, 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 wait. Everyone thought Sigma was busted, too. Wait, why? 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 Why, why was Sigma busted? Oh, because he could do three or four things at once. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, and he got shield from his shift. So if he got in trouble and he was 100 HP or something. He could just put his shift up and just and not only absorb the damage but then turn it into health to keep himself alive oh who, who else can do that who else can, the bap oh god bap bap can aoe heal can have his shift heal for himself and lamp all at the same time now if you take away the aoe heal and replace it with his left click he does soldier's damage from range so, and it's hit scan. So he can he can heal himself and damage, heal others and heal himself, and also have a ultimate on cooldown, which makes sure nobody dies. Oh, and while that's up, he can still do his other things. Never mind his ultimate, which is a barn door, which makes sure that everyone can do two times damage. So. Everyone's doing two times damage while his ultimate's up. While his ultimate's, his ultimate's up. Everyone's doing two times damage. He can keep healing, keep left clicking, keep lamping, and healing himself. Three or four things always being done at that same time.
doesn't have to pick one. Who else could do that? Oh, Arissa. Arissa was annoying. Remember when Arissa was annoying? She could shield. She could left click. She could pull and fortify all at the same time. All of them can be done at once. Use all of our abilities at once. Now let's look at someone who's not in a great spot right now who can't do that. What do you got? Oh, you got uh, you got Winston. Okay. You know, you can bubble and jump at the same time, technically. But here's the difference. Those heroes, that hero doesn't have range, so you have to get close. So if you use them actually at the same time, you end up getting punished for that. Plus, he has low damage and melee range damage, basically. It's pretty close to melee damage. Um, you have to be up close. Up close forces positioning. Posi positioning up close means that they can be punished. Who else has that problem? Soldier had that problem. His his fire was terrible. It's better now. Primary fire is better now. He could helix and, and shoot at the same time. He could do two things, and he could heal himself. But the healing he did to himself was very, very small. Very, very minor. He was hit scan, and he didn't have any burst damage other than his right click, which is a very small amount of burst damage, in which almost every other hero in the game could do better burst damage. So why play the hero? If you look at any hero who is currently struggling, any hero right now who is currently struggling in this pool, whether it's Doomfist, Genji, um, Junk's, I think, okay right now. Anza's okay. Ash is okay. Ana's struggling. Ana's struggling because when you heal on Ana, you have to pick who you're going to heal. You can only heal one person at one, a time. Oh, Flats! You can use Nade! Oh, use your Nade to heal your teammates? You mean your, your Nade, which is one of the best offensive abilities in the game that can stop their healing? Why? Why would you want to waste that? Okay, what else you got? You got Sleep Dart. Sleep Dart's kind of nice. You know, put an enemy to sleep, save yourself. Oh, but if they get shot once, they wake right up. Okay, that's not exactly a good argument, but it's at least something, right? Yeah, well, you know, on top of that, too, you miss that sleep dart, you're dead. Because guess what? You don't have a way to heal yourself other than that ability, the eight and the nade. You don't, you don't get to be BAP and have a heal for yourself all the time on cooldown while also having a lamp to save your teammates and a window to enable them and the lamp to enable them, plus the AoE heals to heal them all at once, plus while doing left-click damage to the other team. You get to pick to heal 70 to each target or be BAP and do 60 to everybody. Who are you going to play? Lucio, you have to choose between healing or speeding. And your heal's already dog shit. And your speed ain't that good. Oh. Oh. Why play Lucio when you could, you, you can either be left clicking, booping. You can left click and boop, right? Left click or boop. And then either heal or speed. But you could just. Next, we play and we get a Havana game. Uh, you were on Temple of Anubis before. I don't want to hear it. I was on. Well, listen. I, yeah. I may have played Dorado and Nambani in that time you messaged me, so. Oh. I'm, well, at least you got Dorado out of the way. I'm, gl I'm glad. I played King's Road today, too, so. Just play Brig over Lucio. Your safety is my primary Smile. Safety. It's way easier. Smile.